Federal agents in North Texas say an HEB elementary school principal's federal arrest on child sex charges highlights a problem so pervasive most people don't even want to hear how common it is. Fox 4's James Rose takes a look at a new federal program that empowers wounded warriors in the battle against child sexual exploitation. James. Well, Heather, for these wounded warriors, this is a rewarding opportunity because aside from the honor and distinction of defending their country, there is perhaps no greater calling than to defend innocent children. We have 67 um, attache offices uh, around the world in 47 different countries. Operation Predator has a wide net. Immigration and Customs Enforcement spokesman Carl Rustick is talking about a program run by special agents from Homeland Security Investigations. The goal is to identify, investigate, and arrest anyone that produces, trades, or possesses child pornography or engages in a child sex trade. Rustick says there are thousands of disturbing cases. One in particular was a, a father that was producing child pornography with his own son. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's horrific. The suspects, he says, come from every walk of life. Elementary school principal, we've had priests, we've had Boy Scout leaders, we've had coaches, and just everything that you can imagine. The only one constant on all these things is that 99% of them are, are men. The need for investigative support for these crimes is so great, ICE launched a nationwide program called the Hero Corps, hiring wounded warriors with a team in Irving. It was a surprise to me to see how many were out there, um, but in the end I think that um, something has to be done. This Army veteran who wants to be called Joey just joined the team. I process the evidence of the computers, so they bring the computers, the mobile devices, um, any uh, technology and software to me, and then I work process through that evidence working with the agents. Joey was critically injured in combat and never thought he'd be able to serve again in any meaningful capacity. And I was injured in Iraq in 2004 when my Humvee uh, rolled over an anti, well, it was an uh, improvised expo explosive device, and it was an anti-tank mine with a 155 mortar round daisy chain to it. Uh, and the explosion, uh, I was in the passenger front seat of the vehicle. Um, as soon as my tire rolled over, it exploded into the floorboards. His wounds are obvious, and so is his passion to protect children. As a father himself, what he sees scares him. It does, but like I said, I'm, I have an open line of communication with my children, and I'm involved in their lives, and I think that those important factors help me to sleep at night knowing the evils that are out there. James Rose, Fox 4 News.